So you've got your signal booster all set up, the green light is on, and now you can make calls without fear of dropping them. But how do you tell what your signal booster is actually doing? How much is it boosting your signal? If you've got really terrible signal and now you can make a call, then obviously it's working. But what if your phone just jumps up a bar or two? It's not working properly, right? Well, actually, no. Did you realize that there's no standard for what a signal bar on your phone actually means? Take a look at this test. We've got two phones sitting side by side receiving the exact same amount of signal. On this phone, it shows two bars, but on this phone, it shows four. That's a big difference, even though they're getting the exact same amount of signal. Signal strength is measured in dBm or decibel milliwatts, and it always shows up as a negative number. The closer that number gets to zero, the better your signal strength. You'll never actually reach zero though. The highest you'll see is about negative 40, which is pretty much perfect signal and five bars on your phone. While a negative 120 is pretty much no signal at all or unusable signal and would show up as no bars or no signal on your phone. The best way to read this is to put your phone into test mode. It's really easy to do. We've got a video showing you how to do that right here. So put your phone into test mode and then do a test with your signal booster on and off. You'll see how much your booster is improving the signal. Keep in mind that phones sometimes will take a while to update, so make sure that you give your phone 30 seconds or so to make sure that the signal's updated. Okay, so you've got your phone in test mode, you flip the booster on and you see your signal jump from negative 115 to negative 85. That's an increase of 30 dB. That's pretty decent, right? Well, actually, cell phone signal increases logarithmically. So that 30 dB jump actually means your cell phone signal is a thousand times stronger. If you had a 40 dB jump, it would be 10,000 times stronger. So that's a pretty massive improvement. Here are a couple tips when testing your cell phone signal. Like I mentioned earlier, your phone can sometimes take a while to update. Check out Oftentimes, your phone will only display one band when it's actually receiving several. For example, it might only show the signal strength for your LTE up in the top of your phone when it's actually receiving LTE and 3G signal. So the booster might be boosting 3G signal dramatically, but you'll never know because you can't see it on your phone. To check what's really going on with your signal, you can compare the bands on your phone. On an Android device, we recommend a great app called Signal Check Lite. This will allow you to see signal levels for all the bands on your phone. If you want to add a widget, then you'll have to pick up the Pro version. It's a great tool and in our opinion, worth the price. On an iPhone, you'll need to compare the signal levels with and without a booster while your LTE is turned on. Then go into settings and turn LTE off. Do the same test again with and without your booster. Now what you'll be seeing is a signal reading for your 3G signal. With this knowledge under your belt, now go out and do some tests and see the signal strength and how much it's being boosted. If your booster is blinking an orange light, then that's fine, as long as you're getting enough coverage area inside. If you're not getting enough coverage area, then click here to view a video showing how to fix your light issues and what they all mean. A soft install is simply doing a dry run to place the components of your signal booster where you think you want them and then connect them without permanently mounting anything. This will save you a ton of time and headache when doing your installation. There's nothing worse than getting everything all set up only to find out that you have to pull all the cable back out and rerun it. Many times the locations you think are going to be perfect for your antennas might need to change or you may find that adjustments need to be made at those locations. To do a soft install, just place the components in the location where you plan on mounting them. Creating a signal map will help immensely with this. If you're not sure how to make a signal map, then click here to learn how. Then connect them all together with the cable. Don't run any of the cables yet, just connect the antennas and run the cable out through a window or a door so you can get them on the roof for the outside antenna and just into a room for the inside antenna. You might need to connect two lengths of cable together with a barrel connector to get the extra length you need, especially for getting the cable up onto the roof. Then power the booster up. Check the lights and your signal level to see how it is performing. You may find that you need more separation between the antennas or need to adjust or aim them differently to get the booster working at peak performance. When doing a soft install, it's much easier to have two people involved. Have one person stand inside near the signal booster while you get on the roof with the outside antenna. Walk around the roof to various locations and have your helper relay the information up to you. 
have them check the signal level on their phone in test mode, as well as the light color on the booster. Each time you make a change, have the person reset the booster inside to update the lights. Your phone may take a little while to update the signal. iPhones are especially notorious for this, sometimes taking up to a minute. So make sure you're patient at each location and spend some time there so that the signal has had time to update. A little trick to make this happen faster is to turn airplane mode on for a few seconds, then turn it back off. This will reboot the signal. Or you can pick up a signal meter. A signal meter updates instantaneously, so you'll never have to wait around for the signal to update. Not only that, but it also covers all the different bands for all the various carriers, whereas your phone will only work for the carrier that you're on. So if you're going to do this a fair amount, or you're just kind of a gadget geek, this is a great tool to have. In addition to moving the antenna to different locations on the roof, once you've found the area where you want to mount it, you can fine tune it and aim it in different directions to help alleviate some situations with the lights, like antenna separation, or maybe detuning the antenna from a nearby cell tower that's sending too much signal your way. Similarly, with the inside antenna, you might need to make some adjustments there. You may need to aim it in a different direction, move it to a different wall, or move it into a different room entirely. This is where the soft install comes in super handy. It's gonna save you a ton of time and headache, and maybe some misdrilled holes. If you're unable to get the required amount of separation between the two antennas, and as a result are seeing a blinking light, you can install a shield between the two. Installing metal between the inside and outside antennas will block the signal from reaching one another. This can be something like a sheet of metal or radiant barrier sheathing, which can be purchased at most hardware stores. I hope I've answered any questions you have about your installation. If you've got any more questions, feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.